Hello! First, I'd like to say thank... First, I'd like to say that I love your show. Thank you. Again, really important to hear. Mm -hmm. It's helped me to understand a, a lot about myself and the world. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's... Yeah. Thank you. Wow, well, man. Yeah. That's huge, right? That's really fucking nice. And it's so cool that you've, like, actually taken on board what we've said, which... You know, but we're just two people, but... Yeah, strip away the, the silly outfits and the booze and the, the, the smokes and all everything. We are really just like two little girls that are also in the maze of this yeah. really weird fucking dating scene. Um, yeah, we're, we don't you know, try to be experts. Jobs we're trying to be your mate. Like, like, yeah, that's really cool. To think that we've been so helpful. Yeah, thank you. And the one recently, I was an agoraphobic... Uh, needs. Agoraphobia is people basically that are, are afraid of big spaces or a lot of people. And Ooh. need is again like we said before not in education, employment or training. Who spend seven years doing nothing. You see I don't believe what does doing nothing mean? Bullshit. Even if you've got your combos on my like, guilty gear on like really really good and I already think you've done a lot. Um, I've only recently come out of my hermit lifestyle, returned to school and started working out. Legend. I realized during your last show that while I've made progress, I embody those overly acquiescent and, and, princip and principled characteristics that you mentioned. For some, I'm so sorry that the video cut out that. Like, it's just, well, I was off my face and we didn't charge. We well, forgot that Twitter. outside there isn't actually um, charging. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the closet about my bi pansexuality, my anarchist politics, and just about everything else for my entire life. I have formed every social relationship I have by holding my tongue at almost every time. I'm an anarchist who never makes trouble. Mm. I'm so terrified of being who I really am and blowing up every relationship I have. I have no confidence in myself. So comrades, I guess I'm asking how to build the courage to be my radical self, to speak up when my friends say ugly shit, to stand up for princ my principles when Prince. I know they will alienate me. I'd appreciate your advice. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. I mean... Love it. Yeah, I think you're already. I yeah. think you're. I think you're. I, think I mean, it sounds there. like he's really. They are relating. They are relating to the nice guy question. Yes. And I will say, um, just the other thing is that we had two quite long responses to the nice guy question in our private messages that we're not going to read out because they are just responses, not questions. But we are going to post them underneath the nice guy video. So they're really interesting. You should check them out. Yeah. Um. Right. Lots of things. Okay, should I? Um, yeah, oh yeah, you can. I love that you have notes. No, it's no, a good no. starting point for the <laughs> discussion. So I'm like, uh... No, no, okay, yeah. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Is this the one I'm looking at? Okay. Yes, so... Yeah, you don't want to become self-righteous since you're an arco, so I always say, so... Excellent. No, but that, that, that's so true, and... But like it's cool that he's like aware of that. So okay, so first of all, definitely want to. Uh, first of all, we'll go do the bad points and then we'll arrive to good points mm. as we do. So yeah, thank you so much for finally uh, recognizing that you are like for nothing because people like your past self, I'll say. I always think like, would I trust someone like that behind the barricades? No, I wouldn't. What do you mean for nothing? Sorry. Trust that you're for nothing. Uh, would I trust that sort of person? Uh, behind the barricades. What, what, what sort of person? Sorry. This. So, so, so they're explaining that how they used to be, and they want to become like this, right? Okay. How they so used to be was was basically spineless. Would always yeah, stay yeah. Okay. Like got it. Got it. Got it. Doesn't do any. And trouble. they want to change. Yeah. And they want. Got change. it. Got it. Sorry. So yeah. Um, Space out for a second. No, no, no. Sorry, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So uh, thank you so much for actually recognizing that you're that guy because I'm like mm. yeah. I would definitely. I think like. What if shit kicks off tomorrow? Like, would I trust you behind the backgrounds? No, I fucking wanna. Not to say that as the only fucking way to be is like, you know, Mortal Kombat, uh, you know, out there and such. But you know, like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I I like to say I'm like important in the revolution, but the first people that start firing are probably be hiding for the first half an hour and then come out. Like, I mean, I'd do a gun. I'd do a gun. I would do a gun. I'd be a sniper. Or I'm something. scared of dying. Like, you know, that footage of me from that event that is, um, no, we know. won't mention that I'm at, but uh, there's this point in it. It's filmed from the um, police helicopters and where they, they, they all suddenly arrive, the baddies, and then you see me running off into the park. And then about 30 seconds later, I run back and I join everyone else. But I will not lie, I fucking freaked out and was scared I was going to die. And I did have that immediate moment of like, not Fair being, play. not being Fair play. strong. Fair play. And so I just want to say, like, being scared of conflict is like understandable. Overcoming that fear and going back out and joining your comrades 
is a really great feeling because you're like, yeah. okay, you know, I'm chucky in the in the Rugrats. Like, yeah. I'm scared, but I'll do it. <laughs> uh, but I just want to say like that's a very embarrassing bit of footage, but I really like it because it shows the fact that I came back is what's important. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, a lot of the time I'm on the sidelines just because of my size. I'm like five one, you know, like I'm gonna be fucking useless. And yeah, there's this still that like crime think pride in me that I just like I like thrust myself to yeah. the front like an idiot. But well, also probably you shouldn't have be good but... eyesight. Whereas I always feel like because I wear yes, glasses, 100%. that would be like they snap him, I'm fucked. You're fucked. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. So yeah, that's really that. So I have lots of pictures of me like front of black mm -hmm. box. Like, I'm in the like back, that. going like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I've done my my share of Aggie. No, a hundred percent, of course. Jesus, I'm just being. I just wanted. To, I don't know. It would be like. No, but we're both. Uh, but no, no. But like, I, 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 there's something to say as to. You know, when shit when push comes to shove, and like, in the moment where we really need to understand who our friends are or not. Um, it, it 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 these those those quiet people with like no fucking opinions that would be like. I wouldn't trust as such, so that's an issue. And yeah, so but I don't want you to go to the other side where people are f super fucking self righteous and like, I I'm, I'm really annoyed that alt right has taken over that particular town. But like, virtue signaling is still a good term. Mm. I'm so sad that it's literally now. Yeah, now apparently the alt right does it. It's really really fucking annoying. But, um, but it's a thing. It's still a thing. It's like yeah, people that just like don't necessarily suffer from any sort of mm. like real. Uh, you know, lack of privileges or prejudices, or even if they do, they don't consider other ones. Or but they will be so fucking too. yeah. But they will be so fucking loud mm. about like vocalizing them, but also at the same time marginalizing a lot of people that are also suffering. Uh, but you know, a lot of the time, it, like just produces them more social capital and without any sort of self awareness or and or self deprecation or anything like that. So that one, I will say, like for example, like the anti-fascist movement. So I feel like that's what's in my head right now. Is um has made steps to become more diverse and to recognize our diversity yeah, of Yeah, right, so why are you not retweeting us, bitches? Yeah, that, but also, like, there is a space for the people that want to physically punch Nazis. Yeah. Great, I, we need them, we need yeah. them. But there is also a space for the people who are at the back, making up the body of the crowd, people that are looking after the children, people that are, like, spotting, um, spotting fascist groups. There are, like, lots of different spaces which aren't frontline Aggie, where you can have a very fucking important role in the movement. Yeah. Making the fucking lunches, being a medic, being a legal observer. Like, Real talk. We need all of those people. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really encouraging for me that you are hearing what we said in the last mm -hmm. episode in regards to... Uh, the sort of people that we really, really fucking hate that if, if any sort of discourse there is or bitching between two people that like someone that I would necessarily like I would trust one like one on one to be like hyping me up and -da -da -da, and then someone's bitching about me, they would say nothing like yeah. there's nothing that like kills me more as such. And you're recognizing so you have you a other problem, which yes, is really cool. Fantastic. You know what? OK, I will say this. And I think I've that's kind of how I vaguely made my notes around make sure that i was that person i was that guy you know why because i didn't have any personality i didn't have any skill i was new to the scene i'd say my age 9 to 23 i was definitely that guy 19 to 23 uh because i just like i didn't have any self-identity i wasn't really anyone i was just another crime thinky and our call in the squatter girl like so i was definitely I mean, I was more opinionated than most. I was also a bit hated about that, but it was still, you know what? Like people that have more social capital would be bitching about someone, and I wouldn't know what it is, or like, or, or I like, or I would think this is gonna lose me social capital or not. Mm. I would shut the fuck up because I'd be like, you know, I don't, I don't really stand for anything except for like, I hate the police or I hate mm. the government, which I, of course I did and I still do, but like basically I just didn't have my identity. And then what happened is that like I was able to build a voice or like not even a voice but let fuck it i'll use that word expertise expertise in something expertise in my own field and i know i have authority there and that's what gave me the confidence and the boost to be able to have strong opinions not only have strong opinions but voice my strong opinions around other issues really so your expertise here helped you build confidence here 100 percent. that's so interesting 100 because this is not necessarily directly relevant to this absolutely and yet... isn't but yeah because i'm like I'm, i guess it's a bit of a security blank it's like okay all of you can hate me i don't give a shit because like i'm important that mm. which is terrible no, but it's, it's kind of terrible but it's like at least i like i knew i was good at something and they gave me enough of like an ego to understand that i have I have an instinct mm. that's correct in something. And that's not to say, like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, the lefty celebrity whores that are just now, like, kind of ruined. Is that that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like I think so. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so. Yeah. But we say slut, and you say bitch like all the time. Say I'm bitches. Sorry. What? No, because bitches is, uh, whores is like whore, which is like sex worker, which is whorephobia, which is anti sex work. Oh, that's how I see bitches and sluts. And, uh, really? Yeah. Bitches as well. That's why I don't like bitch. Bitch, I didn't see in that category. Bitch, bitch is literally separately. the person that is over promiscuous. No, bitches are over, over horrible. That's Absolutely a horrible woman. Absolutely not the case. This is why I really don't like that word. This is so interesting. And when you use it. Okay, fine. let's go back yeah, to that. Whatever. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they're like the, the, the lefty celebs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. And they're like, they, they, you know, they have their own egos for because like a certain mainstream media loves them so much. So hence they have that ego in them and then they make all the wrong yeah. decisions as such. I don't mean it like that. I mean it like, um, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd like to think that I've applied still radical politics to a separate kind of milieu and that validated me for me to then come back to the leftist yeah. milieu and be actually like this is what oh no worries <laughs> <laughs> sorry this is reference to our yeah. last question oh, i would question. never no, use no, no, that no. sorry someone else used that and we're yeah, mocking yeah, yeah, it yeah. yes uh, <laughs> uh to think that like i'm coming from a good sense so yeah if you can basically create expertise into so in, in something well that's really the thing because I want to jump in there because you said you've only recently got out of your hermit hole and j rejoined the movement it's like okay I, I moved out from London for two years and I came back six months ago and I spent my third my first three months head down getting to know the groundwork getting to know what's there and yeah I was definitely definitely not opinionated and like righteous and all of the things that I kind of pride myself in being for those first three months but you were in all of the good ways. I remember mm -hmm. you. Oh, Rowan, no, you were an absolute babe. No, so you like, didn't see me in my like workplace meetings. Like I was silent for the first few workplace meetings. Oh, well, but 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 you weren't. At... Okay, no, but that that was no. But I mean, like Clapton. No, and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, freedom. Okay, freedom. Am I on the oh. freedom? I work at freedom. Um, it's a it's a anarchist bookshop. You should check it out. But for the first few freedom meetings, I was silent because. But I was... that place is super fucking intimidating. But for the women. point is, now I'm not. And so, like, what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, like, it might take you a while on re-entering the scene to feel confident and to feel like you can speak out. And that's okay to take a while to, like, know the groundwork, get to know the key players, like, kind of do the, like, I don't know, power mapping in your head. That's a word. I, I work in NGO now. That's what I, like, I learned. Power Ooh. mapping. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. But that's but, like, like, read more Machiavelli. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the point is, like, it's okay to not immediately jump in and being like, I have an opinion, and to take time, because I definitely did that. And now, like, three months later, I'm like, I have all the opinions, and I'm <coughs> always right, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you. <sighs> so, like, yeah, it's, it, it's a process, but the fact that you're aware that you want to change it means that you are definitely able to do that. You're a babe. Yeah. We love you. No, but... But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I just... Mm. There's certain... There are certain people that ask us questions that we're, like, suspicious of, and you just seem to be a babe. But they say, like, I'm so terrified of being who I really am and blowing up every relationship I have. Is that because you have relationships with, like, problematic people? Or, like, really, like, um... You know, very unwelcoming lefties. That's the thing, because, like... I, like, yeah. Drop them. There's some people... Yeah, that's the thing. There's some people I wouldn't necessarily speak my mind around, but they're the ones I don't want to hang out with. The ones I can hang out with is, like, me and Marianne, they just have a... 30 second argument about whether we should say bitch or not and then go back into talking because <laughs> like do you know what i mean like we both spoke our mind and we are now still here talking to each other loving each other like like think about why you voicing your opinion would ruin those relationships because if your opinion is right and it ruins that relationship that means they're a bad person yeah if your opinion is like a possible either or and they're not willing to have that discussion with you that means they're probably a bad person uh -huh. like you know what I mean? Like there are like th yeah, think about the milieu you're in, and yeah. if it's that unapproachable, either your opinions oh, are fucking terrible and they should tell you so, or <laughs> you're with the wrong people. Yeah, and the, yeah, it just fascinates me that like you'd be in any sort of milieu where someone like doesn't necessarily, not only that they don't give their opinion, but they're not asked. Mm. As I'm like, I don't know, like I I all definitely also hang out with people that are like a bit shy and quiet and yeah. all of that stuff, but like. Um, first of all, I think they're comfortable around me to, to say mm -hmm. their opinion, but like, even if they're not, it's like something to do with like, just like, I don't know, you include people in the conversation, yeah, right? right? Like if you're talking about an issue, you're like, hey, you haven't said anything, what do you think? Like, I know, yeah. I'm not about like big committee meetings, but like in a small group, pub like... Pub drinks. Pub drinks. Most anarchy politics happens in pub Rowan, drinks. like more and more through all these questions, like, do I realise in what a lucky fucking bubble we are. Lucky bubble in terms of like commerce, not lucky bubble in terms of dating or 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 any of yeah. But, but we have like a small group of people we really fucking love. But all, and then we have 100%. the broader scene with which we like we still navigate. Hundred percent. And this is also only within the last year. Yeah. We are we're now in our 
mid to late 20s i'm the late 20s one it's fine <laughs> but uh we i am this is not Mm-mm. to say that early 20s and the leftist milieu was in fucking hell honestly yeah. like i am i respect myself so much and really shows just how like i actually have these politics that i didn't just because of the disgustedness of the some of the people that i not dropped the entirety of the politics no like i guess i read enough about history and also met a few other cool anarcho-syndicalists etc but like the scene is fucking dark um but yeah don't don't necessarily just but hang on it. upon rereading the question they said they've started coming out the coming out the like closet recently also about bi bi-pense- and pansexuality which we should cover but uh, also they i think we made an assumption that they've come out and started becoming openly anarchist whereas in fact they haven't they're still keeping their political views Close, and so what I'm now realizing is that I think that it might harm their social relationships because their relationships they're having right now are not with people in the lefty milieu, and so how to be an a pansexual anarchist with the normy friends? Like, <laughs> we really should stop saying that. With, by okay, with, non-anarchi- really just the, with non-anarcho yeah. friends. I mean, my friend, there's my so friend many communities care. these days. Yeah, and like, you know, like I have non-anarcho friends, and they think it's like kind of they think it's really like a funny role and quirk, but they don't hate me for it. Like, no. like two of my best friends are not anarchists, but they're like. But then again, it people. depends where you're from, right? Because like, mm. I think of, I always think of like Russia, where I'm going to in like a couple of weeks for three weeks. And, yeah, we're doing oh, a hiatus after yeah. this show for. Sorry. We're doing a hiatus after the show now. Well, maybe one before. Oh, maybe one more. Do one more, and then like. Three if you want to ago. not miss a hiatus, get questions in the next week. Stat. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That's true. I'm assuming yeah, again, yeah. So, so like, like, yeah, yeah. The, the, um, why would you ever? You could never open up in those sort of environments. Mm. You're like, you're gonna fucked. So, again, if we can have any sort of, if we could have had more context in terms mm. of your, um, yeah, your region and but, that yeah. Sort of but stuff. like, even my non-anarchist friends don't dislike me for being either an anarchist or for being queer. And so, if you're scared of alienating your relationships because those people, I hate to say it, but hey, look at Eton private school the, it's like everyone gets gay <laughs> but basically like either reevaluate your friendships or trust in them more than you have we had one question recently where they said they recently came out to their friends as bisexual and their friends are oh, actually really lovely about it so like, yes either like trust your friends more or get better friends because there's yes. no way in which you being an anarchist or you being like pansexual should in, and i know like getting better friends is really easy to say like but and if you can't do it in real life, there are online communities. I don't know where you're based. There are cities and there are groups and there are... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, we do We do know. So, and also, we do go look back at our need questions, all of that stuff. Like, there's so much... Like, basically, create the worth for yourself. Yeah. And oh, I know I'm so sad. And it's like, oh, this capital is fucking good. Like, what is he? I... <laughs> When I say use that word, like I earned eight thousand pounds last year, great. Like I don't think it makes me that much mm. of a capitalist. It's just I'm an expert in something that gives me some pride. Yeah. Like fuck it, do me. No, do, yeah, no, do the, me. But the last, do me. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I would say is to speak up when friends say ugly shit. So um, I just want to use the example of one of our friends who's in a kind of community that isn't um, maybe openly lefty and radical and feminist or whatever. There is a way of kind of like calling someone out which isn't like what you just said was terrible if you can do that that is great and i could never do that but you can like call someone out through like bants you can kind of like well you wouldn't want to be that person but i have definitely done that like okay like yeah like you can be like all right dude if that's your opinion no wonder blah 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 empathy though empathy but also like yeah you can like you can like be like hey that was a dickhead thing to say without being like oh no i'm being the social justice warrior or whatever like i understand if your friendship group is maybe a little bit toxic or whatever but there are ways of yeah of like engaging with that which which don't make you seem like oh i'm being such a prude right now this is really boring like no no like yeah yeah again it's 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 looking through the history of the sort of liberties that we have right now and the fact that we've achieved them is only because of protests and mm-hmm. the ideas that mostly come from like radical left. So if yeah. again, the, like your mi- pension, your minimum wage, your uh, lunch break all comes from that. So yeah, I'm going to speak up about it. Mm. 